Hi guys, Crafting Redstone here, and today we're going to be having a look at full redstone, full adders. So, let's get started. So to begin with, there is two types of circuits that add things together. There's a full adder and the half adder. I will be showing you both, uh, both of these in this video. Now, I have already shown these in the first video I did, the Logic Gates video, so check that out. Because it's got all the other Logic Gates in there. But I thought I'd just cover it, this one in a bit more detail. So to begin with, the half adder, this in includes one XOR gate and one AND gate. The full adder includes two XOR gates, two AND gates, and one OR gate. The difference between the half adder and the full adder, this, the half adder can add two binary digits, whereas the full adder can um, add three binary digits. So, I'll show you how to make the half adder first. So, before we quickly make the half adder, we've got three logic gates, what I mentioned a minute ago. Now, the first of which is the AND gate. Now, if you haven't seen it, the AND gate will only turn on the output if both inputs are on. So you can see, turn on the first input there, no output. And we'll turn it off, turn on the second input, no output. Turn on both inputs, we get an output. So that was the AND gate, now let's look at the OR gate. The OR gate will work if either of the inputs are on. So as you see, no inputs are on at the moment. If we turn one input on, the OR gate, yeah, I mean the output, sorry, turns on. And if we have the other one on, the output will turn on again. If we have both of them on, the output will remain on. That's how the OR gate works. Now, we're going to have a look at the XOR gate, where it's a little more complex. I'll just quickly hold the camera there so you can see how you build it. And then let's have a look at how it works. So currently we've got neither of the inputs on. If we turn one on, the output turns on. If we turn the other one on, the output turns on. But if we have both on, the output turns off. Now that is how an XOR gate works. So now let's have a look at the half adder. To build a half adder, first of all, you need to make the XOR gate. And to do this, you want a T-shape and out of quartz or whatever block you want. I'm using quartz. And I'm also using my own custom texture pack, what I made for the Star Wars series. But anyway, um, we want to make this sort of pattern here. Now, once we've done that, we want to... We don't have to put a block there, obviously, but I'm just making it so it looks um, nice. Now we want to put redstone on top of these blocks. We want to put two torches on either side of those and put a block here. Well, I don't have to do that again, but there you go. And put a redstone, uh, a bit of redstone wire there. Dust even. Um, now we want to make the AND gate and a simple way to do this is to put two blocks on top of there. We want to make an archway so it doesn't interact with the circuit below. Now what we want to do is put some redstone dust across there and then one redstone torch. Now we've got our output and our other output. So to distinguish between these, we've got the output, what is the first digit. So that would be a one um, if we're working binary because binary can be zero one. And this would be the two part. So if we had zero plus zero, neither of them will turn on. If we had either one on, then just this one will turn on. But if we had both them on, this will turn off, but this one will turn on. So let's just have two outputs to show this. So now we've got our two inputs and our two outputs and if you want to know how I've done that, I've just wired up like so and just connected some wires up there. So, as you can see, neither of the inputs are on, so neither of the outputs are on. So if we do one plus zero, I mean, yeah, if we do one plus zero, then we should get one. So as you can see, the one lit up. Maybe we could put some signs here just to point this out. So this equals one and this equals two. So what you do, you simply just add one. If that's on, then you add a one. If that's on, then you add a two. Okay. So as you see, one's on, and we've got a one output. So we can do that on the other way around. So zero plus one, it still equals one. But if we do one plus one, then we would get a two. And this is the basis of a half adder. Now we're going to move on and have a look at the full adder. Now before we begin, there are many different versions of the full adder. I'll be showing you one version and possibly showing you a smaller, more compact version afterwards. So for now, we're just going to not be compact and just show you how you'd make a full adder. So straight away, I'm going to build another XOR gate. Now, what you do with that is, as I showed you before, you put two blocks like that there. Get rid of that one. And a T. Actually, yeah, that'll do fine. Um, and then you want to put, oops, redstone torches across here. Two on top. A bit of redstone wire 
you want to then put some blocks here. Oh, there we go. And put two more blocks there. One again, put redstone wire on top of those. Put a torch on both those. Finally, put a block there where you don't have to. And then put some redstone dust there. And as you can see, we've currently not got that wired up to anything. So we want it, one input to be the other XOR gate. And we want the other um, input to be from this new um, input over here. So that would be, if we label these A, B and C, what this one here would do is A plus B, and what this one, um, and then we'll call that D, and then what this XOR gate does, it will add C and D, okay? So again, we're also gonna build an archway above this, so it doesn't interact with the redstone signal below. And then we can put some redstone dust on top of there, like so. But this time, I'm gonna do it a little differently, and have the torch play, uh, facing that way. And what we can do after that is build a basic OR gate, and that is done simply oh, by putting some redstone dust in front of either, I mean, both torches, and then oh, misclicking a lock today, and then just simply connect them with redstone dust like that. And now we have our input, output even. So we can just call that equals two again, just to signify that you would add two to anything. And the output from here, I will quickly link over and put next to it. So I very quickly just link these up, and um, it's not very compact at all, I know. But I've just put a few wires everywhere just so you can see it. So now we've got our three inputs, and we're going to add each one together. So as you can see, at the moment, 0 plus 0 plus 0, funnily enough, equals 0. So neither of the lights are on. However, if we turn 1 on, so 1 plus 0 plus 0, we should get the one on. We appear to have not got the one on. So what's happening here? And now this is an important part in making redstone projects. You go through, find any problems, identify them and fix them. So I'll find the problem and meet you back in a minute. Let's have a look through. Actually, we did need that redstone torch. I'd forgotten it on the wrong side. Now I think that should be correct. Let us just check that. Now what the error was, was because I'd done that wrong right from the beginning. That meant I put the wrong amount of torches on, so this torch needs to be added on top. So, this is what you should expect when making redstone projects. Don't expect it to turn out perfectly, even if it is for a video. <laughs> um, so, just go through it in logical steps, identify where the problem is, and fix it. So, anyway, moving on, we're going to have a look at the combinations for what these two will turn on. So, first of all, as you can see, 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0. Now, you can do 1 plus 0 plus 0, which will equal 1, and you can do this in any combination. You see, still equals 1, and still equals 1. The next combination what we're going to do is 1 plus 1 plus 1, I mean 1 plus 1 plus 0 even, and as you can see, that should equal 2, although I've not put redstone dust on top of there, so it won't turn on. So 1, uh, 1 plus 1 plus 0 will equal 2. We can do this in any combination again, so as you see, 1 plus 0 plus 1 equals 2, and 0 plus 1 plus 1 equals 2 as well. So the other combination now is just the 1 plus 1 plus 1 which equals 3. So we do 1 plus 2 equals 3 and yeah that is binary for 3. So that is how it works and that is a basic full adder. It's not compact but now we're going to have a, look, a very compact one what someone else designed and that wasn't me. So we'll meet you back in a minute. Now after a quick bit of building I've built, I found this version of the full adder what is three blocks wide, two blocks wide? Yeah, three blocks wide, I guess, with the torches. And it contains everything, what the full adder has. And I found this on the Minecraft wiki. Now, I'm sorry if my game's a little bit laggy. I'm just rendering out a um, few videos right now. But yeah, we're going to take a look at how to build this. So, as you'd expect, like the last one, it has three inputs and two outputs. So, we're going to have a look at that now. So, I hope the game's a little bit less laggy now. But we're back and we're going to have a look at how this works. So these are the A and B inputs. And this is the equals 2 output. And this is the equals 1 output. And the other input is the one over here. So now we're going to have a look how we can build this. And you might be wondering, crafting redstone, why, why are we looking at this design? Because it's got like inputs, outputs going everywhere. And the reason why we're looking at the design is because it can be stackable. Now what this means is that you can put loads by side by side and they'll all work together 
I just remembered, I need to put a lamp there with a lever on it, there we go. And what I mean by this is that we can do extra adding, uh, well, we can do extra, um, yeah, adding together. So what we've got here is the A's plus the B's. Now this goes up to five, so we've got two to the power of five possibilities on this. And with a quick bit of maths, two, four, eight, six, oh. So yeah, um, after a bit of maths, uh, um, it is 16 different possibilities for the top row and 16 different possibilities for the bottom row. So what this means is that we can do 16 plus 16. And we can also add one on the end. So what we can do here, if we want to add one, we do 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 equals 1. Or actually, sorry, that was my mistake. This is the A, this is the B. So what we're doing is 1 plus 0 plus 0 equals 1. But if we did, let's say, 4, what is this one here, then we'll get 4 plus 0 equals, I mean, 4 plus 0 plus 0 equals 4. Now we can also do 4 plus 2 plus 0, which equals 6, as you can see here. So that is the reason why we're using this design. Now I'm going to show you how to make it, so let's get started. First of all, I'm just going to copy across the other design from over there. Now, this is useful because you can just refer to it when you're building. So I'm going to leave it there for now. So what I'm going to start off with doing is just building one side of the design. So what I'm going to do is literally just copy straight off here. So you can see two blocks there, two blocks there, two blocks here, two blocks there. Right. So I'm going to put some redstone dust on top as it as it is over there. And I've got a redstone torch there. Now I'm quickly going to have a look on the other side. And as I can see, as you can see, there is a torch there. Now we can move along a bit, and I can just see those in the background. So I'm just going to put those there for now. Just as a bit of a point to um, refer back from. And we're going to put some redstone dust in here. We're going to put a redstone torch there. We're going to put one there. And I think there is a redstone torch there. I'll just quickly check that. Yes, there is. So once I've done that. I'm going to build the last little bit up here, what has the main output, and I'm going to put one torch there, and a bit of redstone on top of it, like that. Now, I don't know this design really well, that's why I keep referring back to it, so uh, sorry about that if you find it a bit annoying, but yeah. Um, right now, we're going to build this top bit, and what we need to do that is put a redstone to uh, torch to there, a redstone wire there, two bits of redstone there, and that should be that top bit. And as before, there is a redstone torch there. Now we can move along a few blocks after placing that, and we're going to place a block there and go underneath. We've got, got this bit here to build. Now this is kind of a bit of an arch, so we can build it like that. And then we're going to, as you can see, there is an extra block underneath it, like so. I was going to check around and make sure we've done that all right. It looks right to me. And there is a missing block there, what I believe has a torch on it. Yes, it does. So we're going to put one there. Now, there is this top bit. And we're going to start off with putting the two blocks down. I'm going to put a um, redstone torch there. I think there is a redstone torch on the other side. Yep. And a bit of redstone there. Now, we've done that side. We're going to move on to this other side. So what we've got here is a bit of a um, square thingy, um, diagonal one. So we're going to have a look at that and build that. So it's that level and it goes on this side. So it goes a bit like this, I believe. And I'm just wondering what happens with that one underneath. Have we built it wrong? We have built it wrong. So we can just get rid of that one there and put a block there. Now what is in that middle gap? There is a repeater and some redstone. So we're going to put a redstone there and a repeater. Now I think there's a torch on the other side of this, or maybe not. There is a bit of redstone underneath like so. So we're going to put a bit of redstone here. And that should be that part done. We're going to have a look on this other side just to make sure we've got it alright. And as you can see, we have missed out this redstone torch here. So we're just going to place that. Here. We're then going to have a look at this diagonal part here. So it's kind of a bit of a diagonal line. So we can go and transfer that across. So I believe it goes something like this. 
that possibly is a bit too low. Let's check that. No, it looks about right. Is it right? I think so. And there's two um, redstone torches on there, like so. Let's check there's nothing on the other side. Or oh, yep, yeah, um, that's right. And then on this last piece here, there is redstone torch going up to a third bit. So we can, I mean not redstone torch, a redstone wire even. Sorry about that. So we can just literally just put a bit of wire across there. Is there any on top? Nope, I've accidentally put that on. And finally, we're just going to have a look on this side. And as you can see, there is a torch there. So I think that is it finished. I'll quickly do some tests and just confirm that. Now I've just checked, this is all working, so I think that is it completed. So we've got our B input there, our A input there, I'll just put this on. Um, we've got our C in put there, um, and we've got our C out put there, and we've also got our, I guess we're going to call this D output, or I think as they call it on the Minecraft wiki, the S output. Um, so that is a sum, I guess that stands for. So as you see, that is how you build it, and I hope you really enjoyed this episode and learned something a bit about full adders and don't forget you can stack them on top of each other just with a bit of a, um, a gap between them I think it is a gap of one and if you are cloning them using a clone command in Minecraft don't forget to put the mask on um, so it doesn't clone all the air blocks so I hope you really enjoyed this episode if you have please don't forget to leave a like and if you really enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to more videos like this in the future so I hope you really enjoyed this I'll see you next time from Crafting Redstone goodbye